what else you want to talk about? We got no real quick. Tab, actually, I just wanted to say I saw um, Javante Davis was in here for a minute. I don't know if he's still uh, in here. I know he tank, has his big tank on here. Yeah, tank. Please. Tank. Yeah, well, I don't know yeah, if he's still on here. I don't know if he's still on. Mayweather has clapped back at Gervonta Davis in a fierce manner after Davis boldly promised to knock him out. Rather than responding with words, Mayweather appears to have a harsher consequence in mind for his former protege. So many sacrifices. Y'all looking at the end. Y'all looking at the end results. Y'all not looking at the shit where y'all go look at the interview and Zab gonna tell y'all, you know, with me being champion, with me already having As tensions rise between the two. Their rivalry is becoming more intense and personal setting the stage for an increasingly brutal and escalating feud. Let's break it down. The relationship between Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Tank Davis began with great promise. Built on mutual respect as mentor and protege, Mayweather, already a boxing legend, saw immense potential in Davis and took him under his wing, helping to shape his early career. However, over time, personal and professional disagreements have strained their bond. What once seemed like a perfect partnership has now spiraled into public confrontations and intense rivalry. Then, tell Floyd to get on live. Tell him show where he at. He owe them people over in Dubai that money. Tell him get on live right now. And he owe people in Saudi Arabia money too. All his scamming. On live right now. Leaving its fans saddened by the dramatic shift in their dynamic. During one of Floyd Mayweather's tours with Canelo Alvarez, a pivotal moment unfolded when he encountered a young fan asking for an autograph. That fan happened to be Gervonta Davis. Mayweather later recognized Davis's potential when the young fighter visited his gym, catching the boxing legend's attention with his undefeated record. In 2015, Davis officially signed with Mayweather Promotions, marking the start of a strong mentor-protege relationship. Under Mayweather's guidance, Davis rose to stardom. However, over time, their bond began to deteriorate. The tension escalated recently when Davis issued a knockout threat to his former mentor on social media, deepening the rift between them. On Thursday, April 25th, just five days after the highly anticipated fight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, Floyd Mayweather launched into a passionate rant directed at a group of unnamed boxers. He criticized them for not taking the sport seriously, and instead focusing on their appearance in the ring. Pretty boy. Floyd used his own career as a point of comparison, highlighting the difference in their approach. Tell him again, no? On third Mayweather emphasized that many fighters today are fixated on the glamorous aspects of his success without recognizing the sacrifices and hard work that led him there. A lot of times, what these fighters are looking at, they're looking at Floyd with the cars. They're looking at Floyd being flashy, Mayweather stated. Man, listen, I made so many sacrifices. You all are looking at the end results, and when I was champion, having hundreds of millions in the bank, I was still grinding in that gym. Y'all are worried about your outfits, how your boots look, worried about the wrong things. A lot of you fighters are living check to check. Mayweather's comments shed light on his frustration with the current generation of boxers, urging them to refocus on the hard work and discipline required to reach the top. Gervonta Davis, however, took Floyd Mayweather's words as subliminal shots aimed directly at him and quickly responded. Davis went to Instagram to express his frustration with his former mentor. In his post, he suggested that Mayweather should focus less on criticizing him and more on his own alleged- well, we got No, real quick, Tab, actually, I just wanted to say I saw um, Javante Davis was in here for a minute. I don't know if he's still uh, in here. I know he tank, has his big- Tank on here? Yeah, Tank. Please. Tank, yeah, well, I don't know yeah, if he's still on here. Particularly referencing rumors that Mayweather was unable to leave Dubai due to unpaid debts. Davis reposted Mayweather's rant and launched into his brief attack, writing, Guy says all this nonsense, but he's in Dubai and can't leave because he's been taking Guy's money and not doing what they paid him to do. The guy is a freaking hater. The tension escalated further the following day, on Friday, April 26th when Mayweather retaliated. In response, Mayweather posted several videos targeting Davis, hinting at personal jabs. The videos showed Davis dancing on TikTok and Instagram to popular tracks like Lil Uzi Vert's I Just Wanna Rock and Drake's Thank Me Now. The situation, however, escalated on Friday evening when Davis issued a threat to physically confront his former mentor, indicating a desire to knock Mayweather out 
upon their next encounter. Things actually took a turn for the worse after Davis threatened to knock out his former mentor. Career. Tank on here? Yeah, Tank. Police. Tank. Yeah, well, I don't know Please. if he's still Police on here. I don't know if he's still on yeah, Tank, here. Get back I don't know. He might have bounced. I don't know. He might have bounced. He might have bounced. He was only off for a second. Now, I go around and knock Floyd out when I see him, and I don't care about going back to jail, Davis wrote on X in reference to the 90-day jail sentence he received after violating the terms of his home detention for a hit-and-run crash in November 2020. He's such a fool he doesn't allow his security to carry guns. This contention stems from Davis's frustrations, notably referencing a prior jail sentence he faced due to a hit-and-run incident in 2020. Gervonta Tank Davis, the American lightweight star who will be facing Frank Martin on the 22nd of June, is making his comeback after more than a year out of the ring. Davis won a breakout fight last April when he knocked out Ryan Garcia in their Las Vegas blockbuster. However, he then spent 44 days in prison after violating the terms of a sentence that initially saw him set to avoid being sent to jail. At the start of May, Davis was sentenced over his November 2020 hit-and-run car crash, which injured four people. Because he accepted a plea deal and pleaded guilty to four traffic offenses, he luckily avoided a custodial sentence. Tank was instead ordered to fulfill 90 days of home detention, but was sent to prison not even a month later. He was adjudged to have violated the terms of his home detention and was ordered to serve the rest of his 90-day sentence in jail. As a result, it was revealed that he violated the terms by trying to serve the home detention order at the Four Seasons Hotel and a $3.4 million penthouse rather than trainer Calvin Ford's one-bedroom home as the judge had agreed. Upon being released, Davis spoke out on social media several times to express his anger and frustration about the restrictions placed upon him, preventing him from returning to training at times. In February, though, the American took to social media to show that his ankle monitor had been removed. Therefore, he is now free to move on with his next fight and has agreed on a deal to face Martin. However, a stumbling block stands between him and his next fight, which is a brutal beating of Floyd Mayweather. Gervonta Tank Davis has revealed his readiness to return to prison if he is able to get a knockout on Floyd Mayweather, be it inside the ring or outside. Easily, the world champion is willing to place his match against Frank Martin, a mandatory opponent, on the line to confront and give Floyd Mayweather the kind of beating he never received during his career. Gervonta Davis actually carry out this action and get a prison sentence, as he has claimed, he might see himself lose his world title. However, Floyd Mayweather isn't taking a step backward either, as he has now responded to Gervonta Davis's knockout warning in a more brutal manner. Pretty Boy, as he's fondly called, isn't one to engage in a faceless altercation like many other fighters. Hence, he appeared briefly on a live Instagram session to call out Gervonta Davis and gave him the words of his life. He said, Tank wants to knock me out? You're no match for me, Tank. You're like my son, and you should keep shut when I talk. You're such an ingrate and you know nothing. I don't blame you. I'm no fool to fight you. That'd be an embarrassment for me. But you know what? You can go to hell. And if you dare try me, I'd have my guards break your bones to pieces, you idiot. I know you think I'm hating on you, but you're not half of what I represent in boxing, Mayweather said. He then continued, You left the team for no reason, and you've not looked any better. And you're bitter, you're no longer with me. I'm not taking you back, and you're going to watch your career go down the drain like it's going already. While Mayweather doesn't look ready for a physical combat with Tank Davis, he also doesn't look set to bring Davis back into Mayweather promotions. But let's check out what really transpired. Davis made his pro debut in 2013. In 2015, Mayweather met the young prospect during one of Adrian Broner's training camps, and Davis ended up joining Mayweather promotions. In public, Floyd Money Mayweather had always supported Gervonta Davis. Upon signing him in 2015, Floyd showed his full support to the 29-year-old. Money was witnessed supporting Davis in his fights and offering his guidance. The two were also training together in the gym. It was a great relationship for the two fighters until it wasn't. The spotlight was on Davis when he fought Francisco Fonseca in August 2017 on the Mayweather vs. Conor McGregor undercard. Tank defeated Fonseca via knockout. Davis was stripped of the IBF super featherweight title prior to the bout for not making weight. Although he signed a contract for multiple bouts a year, Davis only fought once in 2018. He defeated Jesus Cuellar for the World Boxing Association super featherweight title. 
Frustrated at being inactive, Tank fought three times in 2019, and Mayweather Promotions' Leonard Ellerby believed that Davis was on the right path. A lot was blown out of proportion, and he'd be the first to admit it, Ellerby told ESPN. It's not anything to go into detail about. There was a lot going on in his life. See, as media people and the fans, all they're concerned about is guys fighting and fighting and fighting. But a lot of times, things that go on behind the scenes affect a young man's or young woman's life. They're not in a position to go out there and be the best that they can be. He became a father for a young man, and this being his first child, you're going through a lot of emotions. A lot is expected of you. A lot of people look up to you, and you don't want to let people down. And you know, just being a young man inspired to do all these other things, and again, you have to experience these things in life and learn from it. The most important thing and where I'm so proud of him is that he accepted responsibility for the actions that he took and what caused all of that. Davis beat Yuriorkis Gamboa in 2019 for the World Boxing Association regular lightweight title. Leo Santa Cruz in 2020 for the World Boxing Association super featherweight title and Mario Barrios in 2021 for the World Boxing Association regular super lightweight title. Then he, was a, he was a young kid, came up to me when he was a kid, wanted an autograph. Um, I signed his phone for him and told him, you'll be world champion someday and you, I'll be your promoter. Years later, he was working with some people from our team because our team is huge. In December 2021, Davis beat Isaac Cruz to retain the World Boxing Association regular lightweight title before besting Rolando via technical knockout. Tank's most recent fight with Hector Luis Garcia was Davis's sixth straight Showtime pay-per-view event. While their relationship brought in money, there was plenty of tension. One final nail in the coffin for the Davis and Mayweather relationship may have been the timing of two different press conferences. During a Davis-Romero press conference, Mayweather was in Dubai, promoting his exhibition bout against Don Moore. Davis felt that Mayweather was trying to steal the spotlight away from him. Davis claimed that the 47-year-old was jealous of him and refused to let him train in the Mayweather gym. In late 2022, reports of Gervonta Davis leaving Mayweather promotions turned out to be true. Tank said he had no hard feelings on the matter and wanted to go his own way in his career. However, it appeared there was still some bad blood as Davis stated in a deleted tweet that Mayweather barred him from training at Mayweather Boxing Gyms shortly before his fight against Ryan Garcia. In the Last Stand podcast with Brian Custer, Gervonta Davis revealed the true reason he wanted to leave Mayweather promotions. The Romero vs. Gervonta Davis fight was the fighter's last bout under Mayweather promotions. He said that there was no bad blood that led to this decision. Davis also claimed that he wanted to go in his own direction regarding his fighting. My fighters? He went, um, he came to the gym. And it was the day before Adrian Broner was fighting Sean Porter. Porter. Right after the win, we went over to the gym because he, he wanted to see. Uh, this I came following his bout with Rolando Romero in 2022. Mayweather responded to the tweet wishing him well in his future endeavors in the best way possible. Nothing lasts forever, Mayweather told Fight Hype via boxing scene. I will always love Tank. I like him, love him. Look at him as a son. He has to do what's best for him, said Mayweather. I feel like I've done a great job thus far building him and putting him in good fights. Great fights. He's steady growing. He's steady learning. I'm proud of him. When boxing host and commentator questioned Tank about his departure, he said it doesn't necessarily have to be about leaving Mayweather promotions. He continued, It's about just becoming that man and handling your own responsibility and your own priorities. So, I feel as though it's my career, and I need to be the one to control my career, said Gervonta Davis. There seemed to be no bad blood regarding the departure from Mayweather promotions. Davis just wanted to be in control of his own destiny and not be locked up under a contract. Gervonta Davis has fought two fights after the departure, Hector Luis Garcia and Ryan Garcia. And it's time, said Gervonta Davis to Brian Custer. Everybody doesn't need to have training wheels on them forever. It's time to ride their own bike without training wheels, said Tank. I'm definitely appreciative of what they've done over the years. And there's no love lost. It's just time for me to grow up and be my own man, ended Gervonta Davis. How you feeling, bro? First round knockout. Yeah, uh, it's great. I like the pros. I, I'm feeling this. I feel like this is for me. You feel like you're made for it? Yeah, this is for me. Well, when are you ready to get back in there? Hey, talk to the man right there. Talk after the fight against Rolando Romero, Gervonta Davis ended his three-year relationship with Mayweather Promotions. It is rumored that due to contractual issues, their relationship had gone sour. Tank accused Floyd of disbarring him from training in the Mayweather gym. A couple of back-and-forths later, 
It seems like they have settled their differences. In an interview with a YouTube channel, Floyd Money Mayweather had nothing but praise for Tank Davis. He said, I have always been a gentleman. I have always been respectful. There's nothing like taking a kid that comes from the same background as you and helping them and putting them in a position to become a multimillionaire, said Floyd. This was in reference to the fact that Mayweather discovered Gervonta Davis and was impressed, leading to signing him up years later. I started working with Gervonta Davis, helped him, pushed him to be great, said Money Mayweather. If Gervonta Davis feels like he grew wings, and he can fly and become his own boss, more power to him, said Floyd Mayweather. I did not get into the sport of boxing after I retired to not want to see fighters grow. If Gervonta Davis feels like he can surpass Floyd Mayweather or be the next Floyd Mayweather, I'm here to push you. Go for it, ended money. The pivotal moment came when Mayweather himself took notice of the young fighter. On one occasion, after seeing Moton carrying his belts, Mayweather called him over to his luxury car and handed him a hat symbolizing the start of their relationship. Mayweather began sponsoring Moton, covering his flights for prestigious tournaments. With Mayweather in his corner, there's little doubt about Moton's potential. He's already sparred with elite fighters, including multi-division world champions Gervonta Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson, as well as top contenders like Richardson Hitchens, Kenneth Sims, and former featherweight title holder Roby Ramirez. Leonard Ellerbe of Mayweather Promotions shared his optimism stating that both he and Mayweather hoped for Moten to follow in the footsteps of Wilfred Benitez as one of the rare teenage world champions. That's happening. We're waiting for the right opportunity, sizing guys up, Ellerbe revealed. Despite the ongoing tension between Mayweather and Gervonta Davis, Moten's future looks incredibly bright. He's already proving himself as a top prospect. And while Davis may have boasted about knockouts, it's highly unlikely that this rivalry will result in one. All eyes are on Moten as he continues his rise in the boxing world.